Hi there, this is Tanya Sutherland. So look, we're going to talk about eight ways that you can make money with your sewing, your dressmaking, or a seamstress, or even being a fashion designer. And it's all about tapping into your sewing abilities. The first thing we can look at is alterations. Now, we all know that the clothing in the, cloth in the retail stores are made for the masses, not for individual body proportions and body imperfections and different body types. So, if you do alterations, you will always have a sustainable business. So learn how to do the alterations for men and for ladies and also identify, identify different body problems that you can actually fix the clothing for your clients. I mean, that is definitely one way of creating an extra income. The other one is to start your own collection. So let's have a look at what areas are also a niche area, which could also be a problem area that you can solve. So what about people that are plus size, full of figures, that really struggle to find clothes that are stylish, that is still sexy, still makes them feel absolutely amazing, and it still gives some kind of like shape to them as well, doesn't make them look bigger. So full of figure, you could maybe start your own little collection for a full of figure plus size um, collection. You're doing a collection for a plus size, you know, body shapes, you know, for women. And you can start looking at different designs that really suit them, you know, put out. What you could do as well is get some research, send out on Facebook, you know, ideas and, you know, ask some questions about people that are full of figure. What are they struggling with the most? What are they looking for? What styles do they want? And then you can collaborate all that information that you're getting out there and actually put it into creating your own design. Um, and you are definitely, you know, filling a niche market. People have a problem in this area and you can solve it. So the other area could be perhaps someone that is very petite and very tiny. Now, a lot of people that are very tiny and petite, they end up having to go buy at, you know, the the children's division in the clothing section and how do you think that's going to make them feel on a subconscious level they feel that people are not taking them serious because they are wearing children's clothes so if they are working in the corporate environment and they're dressed like in well they've got children's clothes on it might not look like it to other people but imagine what it does to their self-confidence so what about you perhaps doing a bit of a corporate way or something that people can wear to office you know they can wear office wear to maybe going out you know they can kind of sort of combine their looks but it's something they could wear out to the offices now this is something that definitely is a niche market out there that um, a lot of petite women struggle to find clothes that fit their smaller body proportions and their real petite sizing as well as their height and that the, the clothing um, lens actually suit their body proportions but they're not drowning in the clothes instead it makes them look absolutely amazing the other thing is what about taking all these experience of years of you sewing and actually starting a sewing school you can maybe just take one day out of your week maybe on a Saturday or one day in the week and actually start providing sewing classes where you are sharing your skills that is also one way of making an extra income within your sewing business. You can create like a little module, a step-to-step -step guide, you know, with, you know, the sewing instructions, which you can also, you know, charge to um, sell this module to your students as well, part of your registration. And teaching them how to sew, how to understand a commercial pattern, how to take the correct measurements, and how to adjust the patterns to fit their body proportions. And to help them to sew garments from the beginning to the end that fits them properly and gives them confidence to actually sew clothing that fits them and understanding about the easing in the garments so that's definitely another you know another niche you know another avenue of you creating another income so I've made notes in case I get distracted because there's so many things I can tell you about creating extra income in your sewing the following would be is online sewing classes so if you don't have an extra day to teach sewing classes, how about creating videos, video tutorials on how to sew? Once again, reading your pattern, how to take measurements, how to trace off the pattern, how to lay down the material according to your size and following the grain lines, cutting, the sewing, you know, the finishing off, the pressing, 
all those different criteria of how to make a garment to maybe share your skills doing online courses. The other one would be is if you are a fashion designer and you feel that you need to make more money and you don't know what else you can offer besides the custom design clothing that you're perhaps already doing. What about looking into making patterns? There's a lot of people out there that want to start their own collection, okay, but they've got no idea how to make a pattern. So you can always make the patterns for them and go one step further. You make the patterns for them, for their collection that they want to have made up, make the samples so they can take the pattern and the samples to a production factory and hand it over with all their materials and their trims and haberdashers etc and actually have that pattern made up in production because now they've got a sample to work from. You can even take it one step further. You can even offer to grade the patterns. So you've made the pattern, you're making up a sample and you're even grading the patterns because there's so few people left that know how to grade patterns. Well, I'm in South Africa and I can tell you that so many clothing factories have closed down. Um, a lot of these skills have lost through the grapevines of the years of, you know, so many clothing factories have closed down as it's forced people to go look for other jobs and therefore these skills have actually died and haven't been taught on to the next generation or passed on. So you could make a pattern, make samples, you could even do grading. And believe me, that is definitely a niche in the market for this. It's very needed and you can actually make a very good income out of making patterns and grading them and making up the sample to hand over to a production factory. What about taking this even a step further? Yeah, is number eight. So number eight would be, you know, what about CMT? So cut, make and trim. What about offering services to make, you know, smaller units for people that are supplying boutiques, that are having their little own, you know, online shop, but they are struggling for, to find people to manufacture. So maybe you could, you know, offer, you know, CMT work. So in other words, you're offering them how to make, you know, garments like for instance, let's say something like this in the background. Okay, so now there's a little jacket and you've got the pants and there's like a little jacket and there's like a little sweat top. So maybe it's a little mix and match sort of coordinating little mini um, collection that you could make up for people. You could say to them, I can only, you know, do 10 units at a time. I can't do less and I can't do more. Okay, so you would let them know how many units you can do, the minimum order, and how many is your maximum order. And obviously you would make the pattern, you can do the grading, you make the samples, and you, and you do the production. So now these are all a few more extra services that you could add to it because you would charge separately for the pattern, separately for the samples, and separately for all the grading, and you charge grade per size. And then of course the production is a different element completely. And also if you are manufacturing for a client, you can also do the packaging and have a courier come and pick up and collect and deliver to their premises or to wherever it's been delivered to a boutique, etc. You can add that to your services as well. So I've now mentioned eight different areas that you can add to your sewing business to generate a, a larger income and actually feel more fulfilled that you're offering more services and making a difference out there. And it's all about using that amazing creative talents that you have and skills and knowledge that you have learned through the years in the sewing and the fashion industry. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and share with the rest of your friends that are also in this industry. Let's make this industry survive and rock because we are amazing creative beings and we are very needed in the clothing industry. Until next time, love you guys and rock your fashion.